Did you not once use these jewels in an attempt to destroy all the stars in your galaxy? Yes, a goal I failed to realize. But at that time, I did not perceive the true nature of these gems. I utilized them as a hammer, when in reality, they are a surgeon's scalpel. Fortunately, my time with the Infinity Well has opened my eyes to their hidden design. With them in hand, no task death could assign me would be too great. Fortunately, those who currently possess the Soul Gems have no notion of the true nature of their treasures. They use them as crude weapons, or even worse, as personal talismen. You are forever the plotter and schemer. Aren't you, dear Thanos? All and always for your benefit, Mistress Death. So, do I have your permission to seek out a possibly speedier solution to the problem set me? Might I add that the first gem I wish to retrieve is in the possession of a creature known as the In-Betweener. You will remember the scoundrel that recently forced us into actions against our will. An effrontery not easily forgiven. Mistress Death would enjoy seeing the in-betweener suffer any loss you might engineer. Permission granted. My luck holds. My quest begins. Six gems of unimaginable power. Once they are in Thanos' grasp, let the heavens tremble. Mystic conjurings have revealed that the in-betweener has recently become prisoner of Lord Chaos and Master of Order. He apparently transgressed boundaries they set for him. His prison could only be within the nexus of reality, the point where Chaos and Order meet and meld. Journeying there is not something I would have dared in my past incarnation, but that has all changed. Now I am an agent of death and her paramour. Now I fear nothing, save failure. My trek takes me through strange, myriad dimensions, inconceivable realities. Different planes of existence exert different influences, a spiritually and physically taxing experience. For a lesser beings would be a fatal endeavor. But Thanos endures, as always. Reality like all outside influences has a minimal effect on my being. I always hold true to myself. For I am Thanos, a unique being in any reality. My journey ends dramatically. How else would one enter? The Nexus of Reality. From here springs all that is. It is the fulcrum of existence. It is the meeting place of dichotomies. It is the shared realm of chaos and order. Of course, the in-betweener's prison rests between the polarities of actuality. And there are gods. They are creatures of mixed reality. The perfect centuries. They sense me immediately. Their intent is obvious. But they were designed and created to bar the way of less Formidable intruders than I. You are the demigod Thanos, are you not? Greetings, in betweener. I thought you dead. No longer. What brings you to such inhospitable surroundings? You do. I've come to free you from your unjust incarceration. Your intention I applaud, Titan, but your motives I question. Great Thanos is not known for his generosity. But his pragmatism is legendary. I am open to listening to further explanation. I am currently a thrall of Mistress Death, a position I chafe in. But one does not leave her service easily. Not without first finding a new protector. Exactly. Someone capable of staying Death's vengeful hand. And you figured freeing me would earn you my undying gratitude? Definitely. 
with the emphasis on the undying part of gratitude. Does this fool actually think I have need for a slave like himself? Rescue is my only want. Perhaps I best play along with this dolt. I'll never gain freedom on my own. This Thanos' might is nothing compared to my own. Once he serves me, I shall deal with him accordingly.